Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of the two part series of Tunnel, of the five part series of part one of the ten part series of part one and part two about my favorite strats. Today, I will show you the rest of um, how to do Tunnel and why it's my favorite strat. Because not only does it involve uh, the bloater and stuff over there, but it also involves the clicker over here. So first, as soon as you get the ton, uh, put the ladder down, put restart encounter. That way you can have Ellie right next to your side. Why do you want Ellie by your side? Well, I'll show you if I don't fuck it up because I could fuck it up because honestly, it's not the easiest section to perform in my opinion. All right, so what you have to do is hit the clicker in the head or hit him, shoot him in the head and then quickly go up uh, because if you just do this, Ellie will go over the thing, but the clicker will wake up from Ellie. You know, you're gonna have to kill. You're gonna have to kill the clicker. So what you want to do is hit him in the head, and then for half a second the triangle prompt will appear, and basically the glitcher, the glitch, the clicker will be in a glitch state. I'll show you. So normally what happens is when the clicker wakes up and Ellie is over there. Uh, if the clicker is awake before Ellie is on the other side, then you have to kill it before you can boost Ellie. But shooting it in the head for half a second um, and putting up the camera really quick will allow you to put Ellie up there. Um, now, while you're still out here, uh, while you're still out here, the clicker could still hear you and force you to kill the clicker. So you want to, you know, still crouch and do all your thingies. Once you get in here, look at this. It becomes a friendly clicker. Here, look at how friendly he is. He's friendly. He won't do you any harm. He's all good. Hello there. You can also grab him. I'm not sure what that does. Yeah, as you can see, he's a friendly clicker. Anyways, what this allows you to do is run through this area where normally you would only be able to jog through it. And so let's get into our swimming here. Um, obviously, like I said, uh, in hotel swimming or um, hotel basement, troll swimming is his fastest animation. So swim. As soon as that happens, you see the like map glitch out. Go down. Swim up. And normally you would be fast jogging here, but now you're able to sprint, you're able to book it. See, look at how fast that is. Look at how Joel fast is. Look at how fast Joel is, not Joel fast is. So, next, you know, you want to do your thing where you put Ellie to the other side and blah, blah, blah. And after that, well, I'll show you. Is a clicker? You know. I hear the clicker close. Okay. Um. Well, I'll show you. Be careful. I guess. The reason I'm doing this in easy mode is so that you can see where the clicker is with hearing mode. Right, so where is the clicker? The clicker is all the way over there. That's not good. Now I'm not exactly sure how to do this. What I do is just. Try to get it to come over here because apparently the clicker is more responsive to arrows than bottles or bricks or bullets or anything like that. And so, you know, you want, you want, you want Gary, the friendly clicker to come over here. And then, you know, you do the ladder thing. Um, and you want to try to keep Gary, the friendly clicker, in here. I'll you want to keep him in here because it allows you to sprint uh, again where you normally wouldn't be able to sprint. Now look, if he phases to the things, don't worry about it. That's The game is kind of glitched out right now. Nothing really makes sense. No, he's leaving. Gary, come back. Gary, no. All right, if that happens, I like to, you know, throw an arrow around the red sign. All right. 
But you wanna, I, I, I usually try to do it quickly. That's why I always recommend having extra arrows here. No! Oh, man. Okay, well, that's at all, not at all. All right, vault over there. I like to do one more for safety. And then get Gary the friendly clicker over here. All right. And that will allow you to run right here. Now, right here, you would normally have to slow jog, which, you know, is bad. Not only are you able to fast jog, but, well, sometimes you'll be able to sprint. I fucked it up, so I couldn't sprint, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the next strat here is to just fall down, get onto this. Get on this. Okay. Alright, then you know, oh, you let this cutscene play out and stuff. I got you. Now, I really like the clicker strat, it saved a lot of time. See? Now here, as soon as Joel can Stick start start there. start walking. The, the second you can move Joel, restart encounter. That places Joel right here instead of over there. And normally Joel just walks very slowly, so you have to crouch. But here you're able to slow jog, which is faster than crouching and, you know, faster because you're placed onto, uh, like further into the thing, you know, you know what I mean. And then here, the strat is very easy, alright, you know, once Joel's just click triangle, right, and then don't, just, just leave it, alright, just click. Move the camera up, move the camera up. That will cause this cutscene to trigger faster. Alright, then do the triangle thing, obviously. You now, stride here, just, you know, hold the camera up, make Ellie like, come over here as fast as possible. Click triangle, let this mini cutscene play out. And then, obviously, in order to move from the bus, you have to press forward and X. Um, a lot of people think that Joel's moving through here is an in game cutscene. It's actually not. You do have to move Joel. And then the only speedrun strike here is, and I'll show you, it's just swim fast, all right? Swim, speed swim. Joel's fastest animation is to go up. So do that. Start swimming and go right here. Don't go all the way over there. Go right here into this corner. And then cutscene will trigger. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Tunnel. Um, like I said, my fourth favorite strat. If you really, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to stick around for a lot more part one and part two content. Very excited to bring some new stuff in the future. Got some ideas rolling around in my head. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll see y'all for part five and the final part for part one. And that's going to be the outskirts. That's right. The running section. See y'all next time. Bye, everyone.